this ultrasound image can show us that she's pregnant, one which is very good. Uh, two, what we can see from the fetus is uh, this is actually the backbone of the fetus, the vertebral column, and this is most probably the skull of the fetus. Um, so this indicates that she's probably already in her second trimester of pregnancy. Um, so she's growing well, she's only got one more trimester to go before uh, Nita would actually give birth. The ultrasound scan is basically a diagnostic tool that we use uh, for many uh, purposes. One of the reasons we use an ultrasound machine is to actually detect pregnancy in animals. We use it a lot in reproductive work. And so in this particular case, um, we wanted to see if Nita, the pangolin, the female pangolin, was actually pregnant. So the ultrasound scan was a very good uh, a tool that we can use because it is a non-invasive tool. It doesn't hurt the animal in any way. It's easy to do and it's a quick procedure. The gestation period for the pangolin is five months. Nita was a public donation to us last April. Um, when she came in, she was only 2.5 kilos. Uh, now she's been here for roughly six, seven months. Uh, she's actually gained weight while being here. She's up to 4.7 kilograms now. Um, why this is very important to the night safari, uh, this breeding of this pangolin, is because the pangolin is actually an endangered species. Uh, it is one of the species which is greatly poached for its uh, scales, for its meat. And unfortunately the pangolin is one of these animals that are actually very easily picked up from the wild. So since this is the first pangolin breeding for the night safari, we all are actually really looking forward to it.